here we go so after the one off test against england at the dy patel stadium which india won in seven sessions uh, we here at the prestigious the beautiful 1k day stadium with the test match against australia starting very soon india has won the test match against england australia has won the test match against england in this very year this contest is going to be really something to look forward to so we'll go uh, looking at how the both teams have looked in the past and looking at how the contest will be built so looking at australia their batting line of the top seven pretty much are locked in with the abundance of all rounder uh, who can bat at any given position and the number of left hand and right hand uh, batters in their batting lineup they look like pretty much the top seven look pretty much set Uh, you have the likes of Alisa Healy who will be taking over Meg Lanning as the captain of the side you have Elise Perry who just absolutely is the icon of the game and who loves playing in the test cricket uh, Beth Mooney Phoebe Litchfield Talia Magra who is the vice captain of the side and then uh, the likes of your uh, all-rounders in uh, Annabelle Sutherland uh, Ashley Gardner uh, Jess Johnson so it will be interesting to see how they utilize Lauren Cheadle who they have just included uh, in the test match squad who is part of just a test match squad and not for the white ball series that will follow uh, australia's um, it will be interesting to say from australian point of view they'll go with four spinners that are available at their disposal given how much england struggle against uh, indian spinners and um, we'll of course find it out at the time of the toss Coming back to India, the one change they have to make uh, is about Shubha Satish. Well, there is no official word on Shubha Satish, and has uh, asked Priya Punia to join the squad, and she's practiced a lot uh, today and uh, yesterday also at the One K Day Stadium. And uh, Deepthi Sharma, uh, Pooja Vastrakar, Sneha Rana, Renuka Singh Thakur, they were the standout bowlers uh, in that. Uh, india's victory over england uh, at the dy patel so uh, given the workload management and what is to come that is not just the white ball series against australia in uh, december and january of next year but the world cups that are coming in will really need to look into how much that management workload management uh, management india wants to get done uh, because it is understandable that this red ball opportunities will not come but there at the same time there are no points uh, like the point system in the ashes there is no point system in this match neither does the uh, points that uh, the white ball points that will count for the women's odi championship those also will not get counted so it will be interesting to see how both of these teams uh, look into this challenge of uh, forming their playing 11s Uh, we will have you uh, all the details of the test match that's going on uh, here do follow us and uh, this is this is the second test match that indian women's team is playing in the span of just a week two weeks they are playing the two test matches it's a momentous occasion so thank you for sticking with us so far and we'll see uh, we'll see you again uh, thank you so much